nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode 102 of the series Creative Verbi Gem Nerd Dice. And we're going to be doing some annual maintenance here. Last year when we uh, did this, it wound up being like five or six videos. Hopefully, knock on wood, we'll get this all knocked out in one video. Uh, there really hasn't been much that's happened in the past year, so it's going to be mostly just a uh, add Ruby 3.3 to the GitHub Actions, uh, check some dependencies, and then um, regenerate a uh, new gem signing certificate, release a patch version on our 0 0.5 uh, version of the gem, and then kind of um, make sure that our change log and everything is up to date. So we'll get going. Uh, the and I'll I'll link to the the series of videos that I did last um, last year to to kind of go through this in more detail. We're going to kind of try to take a a more um, kind of high level overview approach of doing this. So without further ado, we are. on master nothing new here uh, so what we'll do is check out a new branch here yeah I'm gonna have to we'll just call it mint And we'll get going here. Um, got 3.2 here. And we don't have three installed on this machine yet, so. Uh, I need to know the exact patch version. So we'll go to. Looks like it's still 3.3.0, oh, so we'll install that. Pause and let this run. All right, that only took about 30 seconds. Um, it's almost to the point where you don't really even need to pause the video for it anymore. Uh, back in the old days, installing a Ruby version, like you go make yourself coffee and get yourself a snack, but um, it's much faster today. So we still, we're using 3.3 now, so Checkers, this doesn't. Rack parser. There might be an issue with, let me just specs work. So Rubocop apparently has broken in 3.3. So we'll take a look at our dependencies and at rubygems.org. Take a look at our 
gem spec here. So we've got coveralls reborn. I'll just pause and get these up onto different tabs and we'll evaluate what we're doing here. All right, so we've got everything up in Ruby gems in terms of um, dependencies and dev dependencies. So uh, Secure Random has um, done a couple of releases since then. So I'm going to see if things work with 0.3.1. Coveralls reborn is up to 0 0.28. Rubocop is up to 1.60.2 Rubocop performance 1.20.2 Rake still at 0 0.6. Uh, missing Rubocop R spec here. Simple cov, L cov, still at 0 0.8. So we'll first update bundler here. Do this too. Take a look at our gempile.lock here. And we'll try a bundle update. Specs work. We've got new offenses. All right, I will pause and take a look at these. All right, so we've got six. 32 offenses, 16 autocorrectable. What I'm going to do here is run the um, autocorrect and see whether I like the changes or not, and then I'll decide whether at least the autocorrect parts um, to check out master and ignore the rule or whether to keep the uh, suggestion. So
that's diff in our gem file. I mean, that's more succinct if it works. Just need to make sure that that works in earlier versions of Ruby. That's just the things I changed in here. Does not let, will not let. Now those are all fine. Just turning it into a kind of an interpolated symbol there. All right, I think I'm fine with all of those. down to 16. Lots of indexed let here. And then development dependencies for the gem spec. So it looks like gem spec conventions may have changed. And then let's take a look at this R spec index let. Pause and do a little bit of research here. All right, so we'll take a look first at uh, gem spec slash development dependencies. So this is one where RuboCop um, didn't really have a, uh, a cop in place about how you define your development dependencies for a gem. And there are kind of a few options here for enforced styles and gem file is the default. So uh, a while back, and I'll also link to this video, I changed my RuboCop defaults to allow new cops by default. So this is one of those new cops that has come in. Um, from looking at the discussion for the pull request where this was added in, uh, this is just a convention thing. So your, your gem will still work either way. Uh, what I'm going to do, at least for now, is uh, just add it to my RuboCop config uh, so that it does the um, enforce style gem spec and see if that solves the issue. I don't feel the name. I don't feel strongly enough about it to care to do the work to move it from the gem spec into the gem file um, if it's just a matter of configuration or con convention here. So we'll go to my RuboCop YAML and do we have any gem spec cops yet? We do not. Throw it at the bottom. Actually, style lint, lint. Put it before lint. Oops, I hit Control C instead of Control Shift C. J. 
on the spec. Let's see if that gets rid of half of my new offenses. Or six of them. All right. And the other one here is RSpec indexed let. So what this is saying here is that we don't want variables here like item one, item two, item three, etc. cetera. Uh, so for, and the places where this is failing are in the dice set spec and the dice and the die spec. So the, um, The die spec looks like it's it's truly a, an issue where I do need to um, update these to more meaningful names. In the dice set spec, um, it looks like it's probably failing these because it ends with a digit. So um, I can either um, disable this, or you can see in the comments here, 17 and a 19, you know, three, one, four, one. Um, etc. I'll I, I might be able to just um, kind of modify these names so that they're they're more um, uh, more meaningful. So I'll, I'll give this a shot. Uh, I don't want to spend more than like five or ten minutes on it, but if I get something working, I'll um, indicate what I changed. I might just put. Um, Rubocop and uh, disable and then Rubocop enable um, for this one, but the other one I, I definitely want to make better. So I will pause and do a little bit of um, iterating on this. All right, so what I'm doing here is going back in here and I'm going to put throw in some put statements so I can indicate uh, what was rolled on each of these uh, to get a better idea here. Obviously, the the 1D1 uh, will um, will be one each time, but um, and we can see here, if I run this, a six, a 93, a one, and a one. So this can be D6 with six rolled, D100 with 93 rolled, whatever. Um, And then first uh, D1 instance, second D1 instance, or something like that. Um, and then uh, something, so I'll see if that solves the issue. I'll um, kind of do some uh, finding replacing here and be back in a moment. I'll do the same thing here on the dice set spec. So I've already got in the comments what the values are here. Um, so I'm just going to find out what that D100 rolls to here. Um, I need to do... Since it's a, a dice set, it's a 55. So I will um, pause and do some find and replacing and seeing if that solves the issue. All right, so I've done some renaming. So here, uh, die one, what was die one is D6 with a, with a six rolled, die two, D100 with a 93 rolled, and then die three and die four are both one D1. So um, D1 first instance, D1 second instance. Uh, then back in the dice set spec, I went back and um, changed these to dice 46 with the 1, 3, 4, and 1 rolled, or 2d20 with 17 and 19 rolled, or 2d20 with um, 55 rolled, which isn't correct. I need to undo that. Oh, because it's it's D one hundred with fifty five rolled. There we go. And we'll get rid of those put 
comments and statements? Unless I fail and I need to put him back in. Let's see how Rubicop's doing now. No offenses. Specs succeed. All right, I think it's time now to add Ruby 3.3 to our GitHub Actions here. I don't think there's anything else I need to do other than add it to the array. And let's see here. All the changes other than convenience methods are in the spec directory. We just need to, when we do the build here, make sure that the, the build on Ruby 3.0 succeeds. We've dropped Ruby 2.7, so that's not a um, concern for us, but we'll see um, the other stuff. So I will hit add here. Get add everything. write my commit message. All right, I've got the commit message here. And let's see if our GitHub actions build. So do git push to the branch. origin so uh, just given how the new RuboCop things and uh, everything else took a bit longer than expected so I'll probably split this into another video um, and if this builds here we still looking at our issue while the build is working here Uh, so we've got this is done this is done this is not done this is not done not done not done so um, the dependency part and getting it working uh, took a bit longer than expected um, we'll have a separate commit to replace the gem certificate um, and then we will release version 0.5.1, update the change logs, uh, update the security policy, um, and then we will um, generate the checksums for um, 0.5.1 and commit them back to master. So that's what we have coming up. We will take a look at our action. And it looks like it passed on all of our, had some warnings. some deprecation warnings about node 16. Um, I'll take a look at that in another, um, in another forum. It's not really relevant to the, the gem. I probably just need to um, look at my dependencies of that GitHub action and um, either update to a later version or find a new provider for those actions. So 
we'll stop there and pick up in the next video. Code along on an end-to-end -end journey through the creation, design, and development of a Ruby on Rails application for managing tabletop role-playing games. We start from Rails New and will guide you along the journey of the entire life cycle of the application. You'll get to see real-life, real-world problems and challenges as we try to deliver value for our users. Visit statelesscode.com to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.